uh, welcome back to my YouTube. I'm so glad to be back here and share another interesting fact about sports and life in sports and life after. First of all, thank you all so much for watching my skating videos. I can't believe they have so many views. Uh, thanks to everyone who's liked, commented, shared, subscribed, or just looked at for 10 seconds. Thank you. Um, it means a lot to me and I'm so happy that the videos are actually getting a certain recognition. I, I think they're gorgeous. I know it might sound snobbish. That's not, not because I'm skating there, just because of the project. I think they're really nice videos. So thank you all and thank you for coming back. <laughs> and today I wanted to share what is the strangest thing about being a normal person. Um, as you all know, I used to be a professional elite level skater. I competed and trained till 2017. I competed at a high level. I lived in various places. So my whole life was figure skating before I stopped. Uh, there's a whole story about why I stopped. And you, if you go back on my YouTube, you'll uh, definitely find all the little things that I'm telling you about. But actually, Today, as I said, I wanted to share what is strange. So, as you all know, I already quit several years ago and I think now I've really uh, gotten the hang of what is a normal life. And I don't think it gets stressed enough that it's really bizarre to start your own life after sports because you're so used to just that one thing. It's everything, everything goes according to your figure skating schedule there is literally nothing else in your life until that finishes so let me paint you a picture i started skating when i was five and i started competing at the age of six and i competed uh till the age of 22 so from there until the end of my skating career that was everything um yeah, I, I have a lovely family. I got to travel with my family sometimes, not un, like until the age of like teenagers, till then, Bef uh, before I still had some freedom. But most of my skating was only skating. All of my life was according to my skating schedule, my competition schedule. Everything else was secondary, even though, yeah, I went to school, I did my school and I, I had some friends. But honestly, if you... Are trying to be at a high level then there's really nothing else all you have is that sport and i don't think you can really do it any other way if you want to do it really well so this is the picture now i'm a 22 year old <laughs> skater i quit skating uh note i did have a backup plan once i quit skating i knew what i was going to do next but what happened next was like there were so many different things that I didn't think of before um, until I quit that I realized like, oh, I've never experienced this or I don't know how this works or, you know, you, you live life in a certain way and then when that life is finished and you're this young woman, it's, or I, woman, man, whatever, it doesn't matter. You, you're so used to something and when that finishes, it really feels like you have to relearn so many things. It's like starting over and it's not something you ever think of before you actually quit and when the reality hits. But now looking back, it's I still have sometimes I, I speak to some other skaters and I know a lot of them experience the same thing. Um, so there are a few examples, for example, going to school when I was still skating and competing. My school was that I went in uh, between practices, normally even wearing my practice clothes, or I was in a camp, so I was doing online. I missed most of my school events and gatherings. So after I stopped, I started going to uni, university, and it was strange. I became restless in school. I wasn't used to sitting the whole class. Uh, granted, I didn't always do it. I did because of my work. Uh, I did did not go to all of my classes, but still like the fact that I was sitting there, all of the le like lectures, it was strange. It was something I had to get used to because I wasn't used to it because I didn't do it in, <laughs> during my school. Second, uh, going on dates. No, that's not something you do as a full-time athlete. Like 
I don't want to say a complete no. Of course, you you do sometimes you have, you have a boyfriend and but it all somehow it works differently. You because you don't put any emphasis on it. But after sports, because I had other interests, so of course I started putting emphasis emphasis on the other things in life, and I was like, oh, how am I actually worried about a date that I'm having tonight or? Or why do I even care about these things now that I didn't care before? Because other stuff starts mattering and it's a very unique, like a, it's almost like a kid learning new things, even though you're an adult. And another example is body image. Of course, because I've already spoken to you about eating disorders and that I had an eating dis disorder. I was binge eating and I had bulimia for several years, actually a very long time. That's like another thing. I am so far from what I looked like when I was a figure skater. And there's still sometimes those periods, not long term periods, but just like some days I'm just like, maybe my iPhone reminds me of a picture of the time that I was skating and I'm just like, how did I look like this? See, I'm not fat, you know, I'm, <laughs> you see, I am. <laughs> This is what I look like today. I look like a normal, uh, healthy weight woman, but it's really difficult to get used to this. And actually just a couple weeks ago, I saw this superb figure skater, Ashley Wagner. If you don't know her, Google her, look at her videos, amazing skater. She was actually just talking about the same thing on her Instagram that it's like, it takes time to get used to your body, which is regular weight and you have these athletes who sometimes put on a lot of weight after quitting sports. So far, I don't really know many skaters who have done that after they've quit. Most of us stay very uh, slender and uh, fit. But even that, it's odd. I, it's hard for me to get used to that. Um, I don't want any, I don't want to sound like, like I'm not saying I'm fat or anything. I, <laughs> I don't know how to make it sound normal to, to you, but maybe you understand it's it's really bizarre sometimes because you're so used to seeing this bony figure in the mirror and it, re it, it really plays with your confidence at times when you don't see that figure anymore and you have to like start loving your curves and the fact that you might have some boobs and stuff like that it's it's so strange Really, and I just, that's why I wanted to come here today. I wanted to share it with you, just some food for thought that, uh, um, and of course it all has to do with uh, social media that uh, we see uh, like people, oh, what I, this, was, this was such a messy sentence, but what I mean is that what you see in social media is so fake a lot of the time. And I remember when I was still skating, I was posting so much of my life and I was this, like very skinny girl and people were like praising me for for that as well and 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 when you think about what was in the background this girl like bulimic then it's kind of sad that um and yeah it, it's just it's bizarre and it's a bit sad and and i guess it's just something i i i have to just carry with me i guess i'm yeah, and so this is why I came in on here today. I wanted to share this, this thought, these thoughts that I've been having these past weeks. And um, so let me know if some of you can relate to it. If maybe uh, someone switched careers and had the same sort of experience, because for me it's been a long roller coaster of of different emotions. And if you're a skater, please let me know if you've experienced the same stuff or. Or if you're about to quit and you realize that you're going to experience it. So it'll be cool to hear all of you, um, all of your experiences. And uh, that's it for today. I will be back soon. Um, please subscribe. Please like and comment. I'm so grateful to all of you. And I hope this uh, YouTube gives you something more than just uh, uh, time spent on YouTube. So I wish everyone um, lovely spring, April. We're finally getting closer to summer and see you soon. Mwah.